So the topic of this video is going to be what are molecules? Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, here's a review of what you should know about atoms. Here's the periodic table square of sodium. Pause the video. I'm going to go over these nine answers in three, two, one. So you might remember that the smaller of the two numbers, the 11 on top, that's the atomic number, the number of protons, and the bigger 23 is the atomic mass, the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So for number one, how many protons does sodium have? 11. Number two, how many electrons? Also 11, because protons and electrons are usually the same. Number three, how many neutrons? It's 12. 11 protons plus what mystery number adds up to 23? That would be 12. Number four, sodium's atomic mass is 23. It's actually AMU's atomic mass units. Number five, the atomic number is 11. How many electrons are in sodium's first level? That would be two, because that's all the first level can carry. The second level, that would be eight, because that's what the second level can carry. And the third level, which is sodium's outside level, its valence level, in this case, only has one. Two plus eight plus one adds up to the 11 electrons. So question nine, is sodium stable or unstable? Well, I hope you know it's unstable. Okay then, so what are molecules? Molecules are two or more atoms that are held together by a chemical bond. What you see in the picture is the molecule, one molecule, two H's and an O. I hope you know that's water. That's a one molecule of water. Notice if I were to ask you how many atoms form this molecule. I hope you see the answer is three. Two hydrogens plus one oxygen makes three. Now, molecules form when atoms are unstable. All three of these atoms, look at the hydrogen on the left. It only has one electron in its outer level. It's unstable. Same with the hydrogen on the right. One electron in its outer level. Unstable. Look at the oxygen in the middle. It has six electrons in the outer level. It's unstable. Each of these three atoms by themselves are unstable. Now notice what holds them together are these little dashes. These are the chemical bonds that we're gonna talk about for pretty much the rest of this video. Now we're gonna start by, we're gonna learn about what are called covalent bonds. And that's what we use the dash to represent, a covalent bond. Now each atom involved will be unstable by itself. As we already said, this hydrogen, unstable by itself. This hydrogen, unstable by itself. The oxygen, unstable by itself. They're all unstable by themselves, but they're going to combine their electrons and share them. They're going to share their electrons with each other, and thus they all will become stable. I'm going to try to diagram how that happens. So what I want you to know is that one dash represents two shared electrons. So watch the dashes. Those two dashes represent two electrons each. And the red belongs to oxygen, the blue belongs to hydrogen, but they're going to share these electrons, and as we're going to see when we diagram it. And so sharing the electrons is actually going to help fill the valence levels of not just the hydrogens, but also the oxygen. And so the example we're going to walk through right now is a water molecule made from two H's, H2, and then an O two hydrogens and an oxygen. So here's my one oxygen, and from the periodic table, I know that it has eight electrons. So I can draw one, two electrons in level number one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in level number two. Oxygen's unstable. Now, hydrogen also has not one, or water, water also has not one hydrogen, but two. Here's the two hydrogens. When you look at the periodic table, you can see each hydrogen only has one electron, one electron for each of them. So all three atoms by themselves are currently unstable, but they're gonna share their electrons in order to become stable. And how this works is that the electrons simply overlap, the levels simply overlap. Look at the hydrogen, the blue hydrogen on the left what we see is that the electrons are orbiting between the two. Hydrogen has its own blue, and then it's borrowing one in red. The hydrogen on the left is stable. Look at the hydrogen on the bottom. 
same thing. One of its own electrons in blue, and it's sharing one, borrowing one, from uh, the oxygen in red. So it's stable. But now look at the red oxygen. Oxi the red oxygen has its own electrons in red, but it's also borrowing the two in blue. Like the others, they all become stable because they share their electrons back and forth between each other. Now I can draw it like this as well. The dash represents the two shared electrons. Notice the H and then a dash connects to the O and then a dash to the other H. But every dash represents two electrons. Another example of a molecule is the oxygen that we breathe. We breathe a molecule of O2. Two oxygen atoms stuck together to make a very small molecule. Here are the two oxygen atoms pretend. Now oxygen, here it is on the periodic table, every oxygen has, we'll do the green one first, eight electrons. Two electrons in level one, that's filled and stable, and then one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in level two. It's unstable. Same with the red one, eight electrons total. Two in level one, level one stable, but then there's only six electrons in level two. Notice each oxygen atom by itself is unstable, but they're going to share electrons in a moment to become stable. By overlapping their electron levels, they then become stable. The green one has its own electrons plus two that it is borrowing from the red, thus becoming stable. Now, when you look at the red one on the right, the red one on the right also has six of its own in red in the second level, but then it's borrowing two from the green to become stable, and the electrons go back and forth. Now, here's how we could draw it, an O with two dashes and then another O. Why are there two dashes? Well, because one dash represents two shared electrons. Therefore, those two dashes must represent four shared electrons. And that's what you see happening in the animation. Those four electrons are being shared to the oxygen on the left, then the one on the right, then the one on the left. Back and forth they go. But that's why there's a double dash right there. We call this a double bond when you see two dashes like this. Okay, now look at this picture. Try to answer these three questions. Pause the video. I'm going to go over the answer in three, two, one. So how many molecules are pictured? That is one big molecule because all the atoms are bonded together from the dashes. That's one big molecule. Just one. The second question, how many atoms are pictured? I hope you thought five. Four H's plus the one C. Four plus one makes five. And then the bottom question, how many elements are pictured? I hope you said two. H is the element hydrogen, that's one. C is the element carbon, that's two. Now this particular molecule would have the formula of CH4. One C in the middle, and then the four H's connected to it, CH4. This is the molecule known as methane, by the way. Try this picture right here. Pause the video. I'm going to go over the answers in three, two, one. All right, the first one. How many molecules are pictured? Well, that's one molecule on the bottom. That's one molecule on top. So I hope you said two molecules are pictured. Look at the middle question. How many atoms are pictured? I hope you said six. The one molecule on top has three atoms plus the three atoms on the bottom. So three and three equals six. And then the bottom picture, the bottom question, how many elements are pictured? I hope you said two. O is the element oxygen. C is the element carbon. Now this formula, like written on, uh, in a chemistry equation, might look like this. A two in the front to represent the two total molecules, and then CO2. By the way, these are two molecules of carbon dioxide. Pause the video. I'm going to go over these three questions in three two, one. Question number one on top, how many molecules are pictured? This is just one molecule. One molecule held together by all those dashes, all those bonds. That's one molecule right there. By the way, this is the molecule called glucose. The, uh, question in the middle, how many atoms are pictured? Well, if you counted all of them up, there would be 24 of them. There's actually six carbons and 12 hydrogens and six oxygens. 
Uh, now, I kind of just gave away the third one. How many elements? Three. Carbon is one element. Oxygen is another element. Hydrogen is another element. Now, this is the one molecule called glucose, by the way. Its formula would be C6 because there's six carbons. H12 because add up all the hydrogens and there's 12. And O6 because, again, there are six oxygens when you add them all up. But this is one molecule made from lots of individual atoms. And so as we wrap up, pause the video, try to answer these uh, little review questions right here. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching.